Guy Nativ, and Jamie Ray Newman share life as husband and wife. And now they share an Academy Award. The couple took home the Oscar for Best Short Film Live Action for their 20-minute movie, Skin. And the same year the short came out, Nativ and Newman released their feature film, also called Skin. Uh, having those two um, creations of, of, of ours, like that we worked on for the last eight years basically, coming out at the same time, it's almost magical, but because they complete each other. Nativ was sitting in a coffee shop in Israel, reading the paper when he came across an unforgettable image. It was a collection of photos showing the former Nazi supporter, Brian Wilder. Montage of this guy whose entire face is tattooed, uh, was tattooed, and slowly the tattoos are fading out um, by operation. The director ended up pushing back the development of the feature because of financial reasons. He said not enough people believed that the presence of Nazi skinheads was prominent. This was before the 2017 Charlottesville protest. I wanted to make this into my first U.S. feature, but no one wanted to put money into my feature because they thought it's kind of a, just a small little group of people in the Midwest and it's not a big thing. Um, so we decided to do the short. The duo used their personal savings, filmed on their property, and even sacrificed time with their five-month-old daughter to make the movie Oscar-worthy. We drained our retirement fund to make this short. It was 100% worth it, but when you're going into it, you know, I remember like, you know, I, I was going to have a heart attack on set because every minute that you were over time, every, you know, every problem is our problem. It's like, you know, our future's problem. The fact that we are part of the five films that the world is going to get to see now, it's, I mean, we literally shot part of our film in the, that garage. The whole tattoo sequence is in that garage we shot. While the two productions share similar stories, both the short and feature focus on different yet timely conversations about family and racism. The short is about someone who's learning what racism on his skin. The short follows a young boy being raised in a blue-collar town by a white supremacist family. Newman said some of the more violent scenes left an impact on the actors. That fight in the grocery store. That, that for me was, I mean, people were, were emotional watching the monitors and, and then afterwards our two, you know, our Ashley Thomas and John, Jonathan Tucker were just holding on to each other and hugging each other afterwards. Both Nativ and Newman agree that the short film has two big takeaways for viewers. Education. Our kids are growing in specific society. It doesn't matter if it's in Syria or in the States or in Israel or whatever. What you teach your kids is the future of, of humanity, the future of this country, of, of the world.